gooseberries. We're missing Barry in the know. Oh, forget it. Show's almost over anyway. <gasps> oh, look! It's back up! So remember, fashionistas, just two weeks until the big event. What big event? It's Barry in the Know Fashion Talk Show's first fashion contest. Oh, a fashion contest? <laughs> Technology makes this live streaming Barry Net show possible. So our theme is... Technology in fashion. Technology? That's right, technology. So enter today. Until then, this is Mavis Maraschino reminding you to ask yourselves, are you very in the know? <laughs> What's the matter? You two are the fashion experts of Berry Bitty City. You definitely have to enter. We know fashion, but technology is not our area of expertise. Now wait, so what if you're techno newbies? I just read a book that says when you're a beginner, anything's possible because you don't know what's impossible. It says right here, above all, you must keep your windows of creativity open. Whoa. <gasps> I think the windows are opening. Where? No, my windows of creativity. I have an idea. Oh, come on, Raspberry. Thanks, Blueberry. Technology and crashing? No, technology and fashion. We have this great idea for a new kind of fashion show. Could you? Oh, I could. Mm. And we want you to be the star. Uh, sorry, girls. I'm a little distracted tonight. Things have been crazy trying to run the cafe and the marketplace. Today was the worst. The marketplace had a run on rutabagas like you wouldn't believe. Maybe you could tell me your idea tomorrow? But this is an unbelievable first for fashion. Here, let me help you. This idea is so, so cutting edge. Let me do that. Brilliant. It's brilliant. Uh. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I think you better tell me now. So you want me to be your model in this technology and fashion contest with a video camera in my hair? Exactly! Here, look! You'll be wearing a hair cam that Lemon will make. And a special skirt that Raspberry will make. A skirt that's also a video screen. Whatever the hair cam films, the video screen shows! And what the hair cam films will be you, demonstrating your favorite recipe using the high-tech gadgets in your kitchen. Wow, that's the wildest tech fashion idea I've ever heard of. You should definitely go with it. <laughs> but I just don't see how I'm going to have time to be your model. I wouldn't even have time to come to the fittings. Not when I'm running two businesses at the same time. Okay, Raspberry, what do you think we should do this? Um, Strawberry? What if you only had to worry about one business? Huh? What if we run the cafe for you until the contest? Then you'd have time to be our model. Please, Strawberry. In the name of art and progress. You think you could run the cafe? Well, we do our beginners best. <sighs> okay, we'll give it a try. Okay. <laughs> Order of waffles, two smoothies. Oh, who had the island surprise? Uh, what's an island surprise? I guess it's a surprise. <laughs> I can take over for you at lunch. Gotta go. I have to finish three pedicures, three berry bitty blowouts, and three fresh and fragrant facials.
insisted on doing it yourself, silly. I didn't. But you said you're the only one who knows how. Well, I am. We got flat tires because you wanted to drive through this turnip patch. Strawberry patch! Who's that? Oh, customers! Okay, Sour, customers. Sunshine, sweetness, smiles. I'm smiling on the inside. Good morning. Welcome to Sweet and Sour's food truck. I'm Sweet, she's Sour. We're Sweet and Sour grapes. We're twins. But we're nothing alike. May I offer you my whipped and whirled peach parfait? Well, thank you. Oh, mm. Mm, 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 that's delicious. If you want delicious, stuff your face with my curried cucumber canapé. Oh! Mmm. Enjoy a persimmon hazelnut honey waffle. Chew on this sun-dried tomato and chili crepe. Bite-sized berry brittle. Diced dates a la salad. No! Stop! It's so good! Which one? It was the dates, wasn't it? I can't make up my mind. But one thing is certain. You girls sure can cook. Lemon, what if we get them? So, I know we just met. And we barely know you. But how would you like a job? Great! The Barricans are on it. They're gonna take care of the food truck. Do you think this is gonna work? Piece of cake. I'll get them to set up in the cafe while you try your new hair cam on Strawberry. Then you can have her for your skirt fitting this afternoon. Deal! Okay, now don't move. about to make fashion history! <gasps> Good 
afternoon, Miss. Please have a seat. Huh? And may I take your order? Uh, who... who are... No hurry. Take your time to peruse our menu of delicious, delectable, and simply delightful dishes. I'll be back in a jiffy. What'll it be? Uh, someone already... Uh, wait, who... What's with your hair? What? Never mind. Taste can't be learned, but lucky for you, you get to taste one of my... I mean... Our specials. Today we have sweets, banana, butter, squash, bleh, I mean, bisque. Sours, salsify, sunflower salad, mm, it's a winner. And I don't know why I even mentioned this special, the other chef made it, but <sighs> sweet strawberry fondue, or I should say fondue. <laughs> oh, and I highly recommend my spicy, ricey jalapeno omelet with peanut butter chutney. Maybe if I go bake a cake and come back, you'll have made up your mind by then. I'm so sorry. I forgot to tell you the specials. I would recommend the strawberry fondue. That's a real crowd pleaser. Hi, Lemon! Raspberry! I was supposed to meet Strawberry for a fitting. Aren't you finished yet with her hair? Oh, I'm finished, all right. Finished with my hair cam, finished with technology, Finish with this whole contest. What are you talking about? Where's Strawberry? At the marketplace. She said she had to go back to work. Nuh-uh. She's not. I mean, I'm at the marketplace, and she's not. Oh, she must have met her other place of business. Hey, was she excited when you told her about the twins? Lemon? I thought you were going to tell her about the twins. Oh. <gasps> A pyramid. Oh, what? Never serve pyramids in my cafe. Oh dear. Who are these people? Is there something oh, no. wrong with your papaya pyramid? <sighs> if someone would just tell me what is. I totally understand. You needn't say another word. I'll get you a nice celery sweet swirl, one of my personal specialties. Strawberry! We can explain! Some strangers who don't seem to like each other very much have taken over my cafe. I don't know who they are. I don't know where they came from. I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to find out. No, 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 no. It's our fault. Uh, we sort of, kind of, thought we would, well, we didn't just think. We actually went ahead and hired them. Hired them? Them whom? Whom? Them? Sweet and sour. They're really good chefs. Uh, and they're twins. <laughs> it's too sweet. Sweet. Just give it a taste. It's way too salty. We're making soup, not syrup. <gasps> they don't look so much like twins. I don't think they want to. Uh, let's talk. Ladies, I don't know if now's the best time to try new chefs, especially with the dinner honoring Princess Barrikin tonight. <gasps> We'll make sure everything goes smooth as icing. Smooth them! Smoother! Even! I don't know about this. We'll make it work, Strawberry. Are you sure? Promise! Well, okay. Oh, thank you, Strawberry. Thank you. <sighs> I have to go check the marketplace. Then I'll be expecting you back at the salon, Lemon, so you can do something about this. About what? Ha ha ha! Oh, that! Sure, of course, no problem. <laughs> oh, what were we thinking? Well, who knew they were so argumentative? No, I mean the contest. I mean everything. Oh, I can't make a hair cam. I can't make a video skirt. Oh. Whatever gave us the idea we could do this in the first place? Blueberry! Let the aromas of nature stimulate your creative energies. Ah, phew! Uh, what is that stuff? Fizzleberry and Nostrilla Ticklebine. They stimulate the sinuses and the senses. Nice, isn't it? Mm-mm, not really. So, let's try a word association.
association exercise to break down the walls of rigid thinking and let those problem-solving creative ideas flow. I'll say a word, and you say the first word that pops into your mind. We'll start with lemon. Here we go. Hairdo. Explosion! Fashion. Failure! Style. Stale. Um, I don't think this is working. Oh, I'm sorry, Blueberry. It's not the exercise, it's me. I'm just in a bad mood. Uh, maybe you better continue without me. Oh, Lemon, don't give up. Everyone gets moody from time to time. <gasps> moody! That's it! I'll do mood nails instead of a hair cam. I'll design nails that change color depending on your mood. Yay! Great idea, Lemon. But then, what do we show on your video screen skirt? I don't know. Could we pre-record something cool and screen that on the skirt? Then it wouldn't have to be live. You know, we wouldn't need a hair cam. Bells and berries, that's it! Do you have any friend fragrance? Um, I mean, scents that bring friendship, harmony, a little peace? I recommend lemon verbena and skittermint. Thanks! Just in case. <laughs> to share a few of my most pleasant memories of our beloved Princess Barrican, a princess who reigns with grace and wisdom. We all remember Sour. when... Sour! Something's burning! <gasps> my cakes! <laughs> oh, great! I'm sorry, Sour. Can I help you make some new ones? Oh? So you can take credit for them, huh? What? Oh, no! Or maybe slip some vinegar into the mix so they'll think your cakes are better than mine. Oh, you're talking nonsense. I'm talking deceit, sweet. Underhanded kitchen tricks for my own sister. <gasps> you almost hit me! It was an accident. An accident? I don't believe you. Huh, well, that was. But this isn't. Uh, <gasps> uh, my apron. My apron that you stole. Oh, really? Then if you are wearing mine, then you won't mind if I put some of this parsley pop on my apron. You call this a parsley puff? You, you, sous chef? Sous chef? Oh, did that! And quick, play something. Together? Of course not. Mine is the glinty minty sparkle. And I made the creamy carnation rose. Hmm. I've never tasted anything so very delicious. Oh, must be oh, mine. Oh, here, try mine. Mmm. 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 Ah! Mmm! That's it. Uh, they're both great on their own, but mixed together? Oh, wow! <laughs> Divine! Really? You know, if you two created recipes together, your cooking would reach a whole new fantastic level. Us? Cook something together? Well, I guess we could try. Great, because we have some cakes to ice. Come on, I'll help you. Let's alternate each layer with both your cakes and mix your icings. And we'll make one giant cake for Princess Berrykin. Mmm. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have another slice. <laughs> this is the best. If you'll share some of your cooking secrets with me, you can stay. Oh, you can have my old bedroom above the cafe. Really? But you have to try and get along. We may be expert chefs, but I'll admit, 
We aren't expert sisters. <laughs> I'm only asking you to do your best. <sighs> I think we can agree to that. What do you think, Raspberry? Should we give our tech fashions another try? Tech tomorrow! Tonight we eat! Grand opening of the marketplace, we need some grand entertainment. Oh, and not just grand, very grand. I got it! We could give a dance recital. Yeah. Oh. I got it! We could juggle! Huh. I mean something big! Something everyone will come to see. Something with star power. <laughs> you want a big star? Get cherry jam. Everybody else's. Only the biggest superstar in the whole very bitty world. Hey, why don't we ask her? Ask her what? To sing at the grand opening. Oh, come on. I was just kidding. Yeah, why would the world's biggest music star want to sing for us? I don't know, but could it hurt to ask? So, won't you please consider our request. Signed, your most adoring fan. Incredibly adoring. Incredibly adoring fan. Blueberry Muffin. Well, looks all right to me. Then here it goes. I can't believe I just emailed Cherry Jam. 
if she even reads it, the biggest music star in the whole world is going to come all the way to Berry Pity City and perform for us? I don't think so. Yeah, Raspberry's right. She probably gets a million emails a day. Why would she answer ours? You guys are not going to believe this. When they see the real friendship in you. When they see the real star shine in you. Oh, I'll never find the right ending. When they hear the real music in you. That's it! Sorry, I heard you singing and... Well, the words just kind of came to me. Am I ever glad they did? Thank you. It's perfect. Would it be okay if I used your words in my song? Of course. I'm Strawberry. Hi, Strawberry. This is Pupcake and Custard. Oh, so cute. And what's your name? Uh... Buttercup. Nice to meet you, Buttercup. Are you... Do you smell cherry blossoms? Oh, um, no. <laughs> I don't smell anything except strawberries. Uh, you were asking? Oh, uh, yes. I, I was going to ask if you're out here alone. Uh-huh. Just sort of driving through, and I've always wanted to have a picnic. You've never had a picnic before? Uh, well, no. Well, I'll let you enjoy. It was nice to meet you, Buttercup. Nice meeting you, too. Thank you for your help. Sure. Come on, guys. Back to the harvest. <laughs> Just like I hoped it would be. Cheers! <laughs> the Cherry Jam Fan Club would like to extend a very big welcome to you and your entire entourage. <laughs> My entourage? You know, the people who go everywhere with you and wait on you hand and foot? Well, I kind of thought it'd be fun to kind of get away and come here on my own. I don't have an entourage with me. You do now! Uh, about Strawberry. Oh, shush. We're keeping you a secret until tomorrow. Come park over here. Here she comes! <laughs> Make Mary for Cherry Jam! Superstar! Uh, excuse me? Miss Jam? Oh, no. Please, call me Cherry. The actual for real Cherry Jam wants me to call her by her first name? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just try to think of me as one of you. Excuse me, but why the sleeping bag? We thought you always sleep in your fabulous tour bus when you're away from home. Not this time. I was looking forward to, you know, sleeping under the stars. Huh? You mean, like a camp out? Exactly. A camp out. Oh, do we have the perfect camping spot for you? Uh, yeah, that's right. Just stay right here. Uh, relax, and we'll get it all ready for you. Yeah, let's go, girls. Oh, you're gonna love it. Why did you tell her that? We can't let her camp out. You know what she's used to? Five-star luxury. Six-star. If we let her sleep in some old sleeping bag, she'll never want to come back again. So, here's the plan. Okay, do you guys remember the article? Now, it's really not much. Probably not what you're used to. We hope it's comfortable enough. 
for a star. A star of super magnitude. That means really, really big. Well, what do you think? It is really big, isn't it? Don't you want to see the inside? <laughs> of course. We copied your bedroom from your article. Bedroom of a star in very big glitz and glamour. Everything you have when you're at home has been duplicated here. Well, probably not exactly, but we did our best. <laughs> Thank you. It's very thoughtful of you. This is a camp out fit for a star. That's what my managers and my agents and my entourage would say. Ooh, her entourage! Well, See you in the morning. <sighs> wow, just what I'd hoped for. Miss Jam? Cherry! Cherry? We brought you a little midnight snack. Cherry? Where could she be? <gasps> oh, no! Look! I guess she didn't like it. She didn't like it so much. She'd rather sleep outside. <sighs> we had our chance, and we failed. you to give the grand opening's guest star some information first. Guest star? Huh? Surprise! <laughs> Presenting... Cherry Jam! Your Cherry Jam? But you... you... <laughs> so that's why I smelled cherry blossoms when I first met you. Wow, you girls planned this? Oh, thank you. Our pleasure. <laughs> Here, quick! You don't want her to think we're just plain boring girls, do you? Well, we'll leave you to plan the grand opening. We have something we have to do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow! Well, um, here, please, sit down, Buttercup. Um, Miss Jam? Oh, no. Please, call me Cherry. I'm sorry, Strawberry. I didn't want to give away the surprise. <laughs> I understand. I probably wouldn't have believed you anyway. You look quite different in person. I just dress that way because it's what my fans want. Well, I'm a fan of yours. Oh. But I'm also a fan of people dressing how they like. And I like the way you look right now. And I like that. I'm sorry, <laughs> but it's not really me. Not really me either. But don't tell. I won't tell a soul. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Mmm, that was the best sandwich I've ever had. Thanks. But you must have had better ones in Big Berry City. Nope. The best part, too, is being able to just relax without people snapping pictures of me. It's so nice here. Well, can I show you where you're going to perform? Actually, the girls promised to take me out where I can do something I've always wanted to do. Something I never could do in the city with people following me everywhere. What's that? Take a walk all by myself and pick flowers. Oh, yes! Those big hothouse roses are your favorite! I read about it in Very Big Glitz and Glamour magazine. That's something my publicist made up. My real favorite flowers are buttercups. Hmm, uh... <laughs> of course. Does she like them? No. Aww. She doesn't like our flowers, either. She doesn't like them so much. She'd rather settle for ordinary wildflowers. We had our chance. And we failed. Better make sure I can find my way back. If we can't do something to impress her, she'll never come back. 
Hey! Remember that article in Glitz and Glamour that said her favorite thing to do was have a boomberry pie party? Let's make her one that goes off like fireworks! Good idea. That's sure to leave an incredible impression. Come on, let's go to the cafe and start baking! Oh, she didn't even like the ones she picked. She ripped them up. Nothing's good enough for her. Come on, Orange. Yeah, come on! Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> did I take? Hello? Help? Anyone? Hello? Hello? Thank you, Cupcake, for rescuing me. Oh, I'm okay. I just lost my voice hollering for help. A boomberry pie party? Oh no! They can't know that I've lost my voice. They will be so let down if I can't sing for the grand opening. She doesn't like us so much. She didn't even come to her own boomberry pie party. Refills? Anybody? If I have any more tea, I'm gonna float away. Maybe she didn't get our invitation? Maybe she's still in makeup? We better face facts. She knew it wouldn't be as good as she's used to, so she didn't bother. Well, should we? Might as well not let a perfectly good boomberry pie go to waste. <laughs> We put too many boomberries. Oh, failed again. Girls, the cherry gem you keep describing doesn't sound like the girl I met. We just wanted her to be our friend, for her to like us. <laughs> but I guess we're not special enough. I think I have some more towels over at the marketplace. I'll be right back. Disturb getting my superstar beauty rest? <laughs> Cherry, it's me, Strawberry. Can we talk a minute? <gasps> <laughs> so, I called all of you here this morning because Cherry needs your help. She does? Our help? What happened? Is she okay? Yesterday, she lost her voice. Oh, oh Cherry. terrible! She's got most of it back, but still can't sing her high notes. So I'm to sing the high notes for her. And she wants you to be the musical and singing backup. Really? <gasps> we get to perform with Cherry Jam? Uh-huh. <laughs> There's something else she wants. Very important. She'd ask you herself, but she needs to rest her voice. Anything! Whatever you she name wants. anything for Cherry what Jam. Is it? Well, all she really wants is to be your friend. But she wants to know if you'll treat her like a friend, not a superstar. Oh. <laughs> My. We really haven't been acting like friends. We've been acting like... Bands. Who can help me paint the podium? I will! Let's go! Yeah, where's Everybody, the paint? Let's get going! Rush. Welcome to the Marketplace Grand Opening! <laughs> this could never have come together without all your help! And now, presenting for your musical enjoyment... <laughs> Cherry Jam and her friends!
Okay, tell me again what you saw, but slower this time. Okay, so uh, there we were, weren't we? And a routine irrigation check. Bouncing boysenberries. Looks like we got a loose ripple lock. Uh, hey, what's wrong, Earl? Heard something funny, kind of. Uh, what? Uh, I don't hear anything. <laughs> Something lollop me. <laughs> so, you see, Miss Strawberry, we definitely have a monster in the berry patch. With seven noses? Yeah. And, and it lollops. Lollops? <gasps> well, Miss Cherry, uh, uh, sort of, kind of... Licks in a slobbery sort of way. Oh, how unbecoming. What's going on, Strawberry? Monster in the berry patch. Scary berries! So, what do we do? I guess we go meet it. Huh? <laughs> don't see any evidence of a monster. <laughs> Sounds like... Dogs? Be reasonable now. That was my last biscuit. Dogs... and... A boy? <gasps> Hello? Oh! Excuse me. No, excuse me. Uh, who... Well, where'd you come from? Berry Bitty City. I'm Strawberry Shortcake. I live there with my friends. Oh, hi there. I'm Huckleberry Pie. Hello, I'm Orange. Hi, I'm Cherry. Hello, Huckleberry. I'm Blueberry. Ed. <laughs> I'm Earl. Where are you headed? Not anywhere now. I'm kind of stuck. Hmm. Not for long, you aren't. Yourselves. <laughs> so mild, so sweet, so fancy. Puppies! So adorable! <laughs> Come here! <laughs> Come back! Is this how guests behave? <sighs> You're so lucky to have so many pets! Oh, Lemon, they aren't mine. Whose are they? Well, uh, nobody's. <gasps> so, you've been driving from town to town in Huck's Pupmobile, getting dogs adopted. Yeah, I started with 25. I'm taking these, uh, leftover guys to Berry Big City to start Huckleberry's Home for Pets. Aww. That is quite admirable. Hey, Mr. Huckleberry! Uh -huh. uh, Mr. Huckleberry, you're good to go. All fixed up. Thank you so much. And thank you, Strawberry, Cherry, and your friends, too. 
Well, I'd better head out. But it's late. You might get lost again in the dark. You can stay upstairs here, and I'll stay in my other room above my cafe. Well, that's really nice of you, Strawberry. <laughs> Looks like they feel right at home. Well, I hope you do too. Oops! <laughs> Almost forgot my guys! Dinner? Uh, is this part of my bedsheet? Oh, Strawberry, I give up. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I fell asleep and they stayed awake. I guess you could say they, uh... Redecorated? It's what pups do. Strawberry, you've been so kind. And then this. I insist on fixing your room. That might take some time. However long it takes, I promise I'll put it back the way it was. That's very honorable of you. You're welcome to stay as long as it takes, then. <gasps> It needs some more trash bags? Huh? Nice leashes, Raspberry. Oh, thanks. I kind of thought they were sort of rather stylish in a pinch. Thank you for walking them. It was fun. Mm -hmm. You know, we were thinking we could each host a dog. That way you wouldn't have to watch over all seven at once. Great idea, Orange. We can each teach our guests some doggy manners. That's so generous of you. Well, they are all so cute. <gasps> he slipped out of his leash. Guess I'll host you. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, I haven't named them yet, so be my guest. I think I'll call you Biscuit. <laughs> oh! Okay, you are gonna look very, very glamorous. Your fur's a bit too short for a bow. Well, I guess you look just like you did when I met you, which is very glamorous. And one, two, three, one, two, three, and hit your mark right here, see? Okay, now you try, come on, boy. Ah, uh, almost. Try again and you'll get a treat. Uh, uh, the waltz part comes later. Uh, well, at least you hit your mark. We came to help. You name it, and we'll do it. Ooh, got a pretty chewed up chair here. We'll take it to the shop and give it a good power sanding. Oh, I can do it. I love sanding and, yeah, uh, machine stuff. I really miss carpentering and, uh, you know, machining. <laughs> Huckleberry! 
Blueberry. Oh, hi, uh, Blueberry. Sorry, Plum, didn't mean to interrupt your, uh... It's okay. This is my Lecture Inner Music Move You class. That's my favorite. Moving to musical innards. <laughs> inner music? Yeah, I love that too. You do? That's great. Then join us. Okay, hit me with the beat. Uh, this is move to your inner music. So just close your eyes, get quiet and peaceful. Listen to the harmony of your feelings, the bliss of your brain waves, and then go with it. <gasps> Strawberry. Wow, your pets really like Biscuit. Fit right in from the start. How's my bedroom makeover undo coming along? Oh, great. Just waiting for the Berrykins to build me another chip. I mean, fix. Uh, touch up. Uh, shouldn't be long now. Hold tight. Almost done with these muffins. Hey, can I help? Cooking's my favorite. Muffins are my specialty. That would be a very big help. Can you put these in the oven for me while I finish this batter? Piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh. Hi! Are you okay, Cherry? It sounded like you were crying. Oh, <laughs> that was him. We were trying to teach Crooner to sing, but it's not coming naturally. <laughs> Singing? Hey, that's my favorite. Sweet! You can take Crooner's part. Very best friends forever. Together. Oh, uh, just warming up my throat. Huck, why don't you take the next chorus on your own? Oh, uh, sure. Hope, sweet home, where memories are made and berries are grown. Yeah. Home, sweet home. A place you can always call your own. Divine! That dog can sing! Biscuit, I thought you were staying with Strawberry. He's sure welcome to stay with me and Crooner. So, uh, Huckleberry, why don't we start with some simple notes, just to warm up your voice? Uh, think I got a tickle in my throat. I'll catch you later. Okay, feel better. For someone who loves to sing, he sure doesn't love to sing. Hi, Orange. Raspberry. What's the hurry? Hair appointment at Lemon Salon. Can't wait to get the new hairdo, the Curlpacious Crescent Quaff. Oh, yeah. I've been dying to get that one, too. Huh? You? Are you sure? Bring it on. Can't wait. Well, would you look at that? Do you want a manicure, Poochie? <laughs> Lemon, you are an artist. Oh, I absolutely... Oh, I love it. something. Can you smell? That 
It's okay. Keep going. You're getting warm. Warmer. Ah, ah, cold, cold! What is that? Just me. Huckleberry? What are you doing in there? Hiding. Uh, hiding from what? The whole Berry Bitty world. How come? <laughs> you didn't let Lemon talk you into that, did you? I'm afraid I talked her into it. Kind of like you talked us into letting you join our dance class? Come out of there. All you need is a little water. Oh, no. Don't worry. I have a warm setting on this hose. Oh, okay. Cold! Cold! <laughs> Blueberry, you saved me. Mmm, ginger tea, my favorite. Is it really? Or are you just saying that? I, uh, well, one of my favorites. Why would you say something was your favorite if it isn't? I mean, favorite usually means one only. I guess I thought everyone would, you know, like me better. You've all been so nice to me here, I just wanted to fit in. Aha! I think I'm getting the better of this mystery before it betters me! Hey, that's what Patty Persimmon always says. Patty Persimmon? She's my favorite mystery character! Really? Mine too! Huckleberry, you've got to stop saying you like things just so people will like you. No, really. I like Patty Persimmon Mysteries. Okay. Where is Patty Persimmon from? Berry Bitty Glade. But in The Secret of the Feathered Fish, we learned she was really born in Cricket Crossing and then moved to Berry Bitty Glade. You're right. Okay. <laughs> What's her middle name? Middle name, you say? Mm-hmm. Ha! She doesn't have one. <gasps> You're right! Okay, okay. What is her favorite breakfast? In the mystery of the purloined parasol, it was crepes a la mode. Uh-huh. But in the creepy cabinet caper, she discovers she loves persimmon pancakes with pumpkin butter, coconut syrup, and macadamia nuts. That's right! You really do like Patty Persimmon mysteries. Like them? I collect them! I've got them all. All but the latest one, which isn't out yet. It's the Thespian Theater Thriller. Thriller! I have it! You do? But it, it just now, it only just... Huh, how did you get it? You just happened to be looking at a lifetime member of the Patty Persimmon Early Edition Club. Wow. I finished it last night. <sighs> Would you let me borrow it, please? Hey, you can have a copy. Compliment to Blueberry's Bookstore. You make me a promise. No more pretending everything is your favorite. Give Berry Bitty City a chance to like you for who you are. Then you'll be sure we like the real you. Okay, deal. Hey, I thought you were staying with Lemon. Would you look at that? This dog can track. I think I'll call you Snipper. He fits in everywhere. I wish I had a little of what he has. Biscuit? Ah, hi, Raspberry. Oh, poor little thing. Whenever anyone comes in, she hides. Kind of shy. Hope she'd make a nice guard dog. Let me know when people need help. I don't think Coco likes his sweater. Well, it is kind of thick. And he already has a fur coat. Yeah, don't think he likes it. And he won't sit still for fittings. Hmm. Hi, Orange. Oh, morning. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Orange, I don't think your dog is shy. I think she's cold. Really? Mm-hmm. And mine is too hot in that sweater. Can I try it on your dog? Absolutely. Great idea, Raspberry. Okay, Strawberry, open them. <gasps> oh, Huckleberry, it looks beautiful. It looks like it did before my dogs got a hold of it. I hope, anyway. It does, it does. Thank you for fixing everything. 
Thank you for your hospitality. You are welcome in Berry Bitty City anytime. Really? Uh, after all the trouble I caused? Well, everyone makes mistakes. And don't you know how much we all like you? You do? Of course! We liked you from the start. What you're doing for the pups? I mean, who wouldn't like a person who does something so nice? Where are all the dogs? Um, can we talk to you about that? Would it be possible for me to adopt Hannah? Hannah? What happened to the Dalmatian? Doesn't Cinepop have an incredible voice? And Pitter Patch is a great dancer. Doesn't Chiffon look fabulous? Um, where is Chiffon? Ah! We decided to swap dogs. And perfect matches were made. Isn't that so scouty? <laughs> what do you say, Huckleberry? Of course. Well, I suppose I'll adopt Biscuit. But I haven't seen him for a while. He's kind of a rover. There he is. I'll oh, take you with us. Come here, Come here on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> No wonder he didn't stay with any of us. He's been your dog all along. Well, Huckleberry, will you let him adopt you? <laughs> I think Tom Tom already has. to a friend of mine. Oh, I hope I'm mailing it in time. When's the birthday? Next week. Oh, it'll get there in plenty of time. Another letter! Bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. <laughs> I'm afraid I've come down with a case of bumbly, wheezy, sneezy fever. <laughs> oh, dear. That's too bad. Well, I think you'd better go home until you feel better. I think that's a very good idea. Yeah, 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 but... <laughs> I did. Yeah, 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 but. <laughs> Bless you! Thank you. <laughs> <gasps> Quick! Turn him around! <laughs> Now, how am I going to get the mail delivered today? Is there a problem, Postmaster? Well, the problem is all my delivery bees are on vacation, which wouldn't be a problem because they still have one left. Well, the problem is... <laughs> he's it. Oh. So, now the only one left to get the mail delivered is me. Oh, dear. But uh, even that wouldn't be a problem. I can deliver the mail to Barry Bitty City myself, but but not this. What's that? Special delivery for Clement Cricket. Clear out in Acorn Acres. <laughs> Label says it's for his birthday. When's his birthday? Today. Today? Ah! 
Oh, no. <laughs> Here, J.D. Bug, let me help you. No, no, you should be delivering the mail. Well, I, I guess you're right. Oh, poor Clem. Looks like his birthday present will be late. But we can only do our very best. Wait! What if I helped you deliver this package, I mean? Well, <laughs> that's mighty kind of you, Miss Shortcake, but all the way to Acorn Acres, this is not exactly a hop, skip, and a jump, you know. Yeah, it's across the bridge, way on the other side of the river. I have a scooter. I'm sure I can get it there in time. And I have the day off from the cafe, so I am at your service. <laughs> well, now, that's about the nicest thing I've heard in quite a while. Are you sure you want to give it a try? Very sure. All righty, then. <clears throat> Raise your right hand, please. Repeat after me. I, Strawberry Shortcake. I, Strawberry Shortcake. Through snow, rain, heat, or very gloomy night. Through snow, rain, heat, or very gloomy night. Do promise to do my very best to deliver the mail on time. Do you promise to do my very best to deliver the mail on time. <sighs> you are now an official delivery person of the Berry Bitty City Post Office. <laughs> Strawberry, that looks great on you. Thanks, Orange. Thank you, Strawberry. This means a lot to me in the post office, and I expect to Mr. Cricket. <laughs> J.D. Bug will stamp the package and get you on your way. Okay, J.D. Bug? No! Here, let me... <laughs> no, no, you should be delivering the mail. Well, I, I, I guess you're right. Here, I can help. Why, why thank you, Miss Shortcake. Anybody home? Right there, Plum! Well, if you can stamp this package, I'll be on my way. Oh! <laughs> right. Stamps. 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 Go! Oh. <laughs> that was me. Stamps. 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 Aha! There! Do not... Open till Christmas? Oh, absolutely. It'd be cheating. Huh? But it's his birthday. Oops. <laughs> Fragile? Put this end up. <laughs> Return to sender? Oh, special delivery. Wait, how about a nice, don't drop this package? Oh, oh, here's a, sorry, doesn't live here anymore. Huh. I've been looking for that one for months. No, thank you. Well, congratulations to our new postal carrier. Orange told me all about it. Hi, Plum. Love the hat. Do you get to keep it? No, just helping out for the day. Hiya, Pupcake. Take good care of this package, okay? It's got to go all the way to Acorn Acres. <laughs> Acorn Acres? Way out there? Oh, can you make it in one day? Oh, it's still morning. Plenty of time. Uh, wait! Uh, who's taking care of your cafe? Mr. Longface. He's teaching a cake decorating class. What is it? I've got a problem. Pupcake, you better wait here. Take care of the package, okay? <laughs> Lemon, are you okay? Uh, uh, sure, sure. What is it? Something's wrong, isn't it? Here, there's a great article on two-tone toenail polish. I would like to see how my hair looks. Oh, hold on. I used a new hair mousse, and it's not exactly working out. I'm scared she's gonna... Oh, I don't want to think what she'll do when she sees. It's too terrible to... Let me see. 
Okay, but please keep your cool. As always. Yeah, okay, come on. Oh, it's coming along nicely. Wow, that's a... a hairstyle, all right. Now can I? Not yet! Lemon, I've got to deliver a package for the postmaster. I'd love to stay, but... Oh, no, 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 no. You can't leave me. Please, Strawberry, please think of something. I don't know what to do. I'd like to keep Blueberry as my friend, but when she finds out, she's gonna... Oh, and then she'll... No! Oh. Ouch! Okay, where's the bottle? Hmm. You know, I had a cake recipe that kept coming out just like that. Too hard, so I added pudding to the mix. Pudding? Try washing her hair with some vanilla pudding, then rinse it, then add stay-in conditioner with a little, um, avocado oil. That should smooth it all down. Hmm, you think? Worth a try. And don't worry, Blueberry always comes around. <sighs> Thanks, Strawberry. You calmed me down. I was just so flustered, I couldn't think. <laughs> You're very welcome. Very Bitty City Post Office. We do the very best we can. J.D. Bug speaking. <gasps> oh, no. Uh, yes, sir. I'll tell her right away. Has Strawberry gone yet? Yeah. Uh, why? The postmaster just heard at the storm we had the other night. It blocked the road to Acorn Acres. She won't be able to get through. <gasps> oh, no! Strawberry! Strawberry, come back! <laughs> Only one who today But even if we could clear the road, it'd take us too long. Oh, I think the only thing to do is keep going without the scooter. to Rosevale, Brookville, um, and that must be the way to Acorn Acres. Great. <sighs> now which way should I go? Uh, I keep telling them they should fix this huh? thing, but do they listen? Because you didn't ask nice. What do you know about nice? Uh, nice is my middle name. Uh, no, it um, isn't. Excuse yeah. me. Yes. Um, is not. Okay, what is my middle name then? Ladybird. <laughs> Your name's Ladybug, Ladybird, Fairy Beetle. <gasps> How did you know that? Um, girls, 
because maybe I've known you all your life and I'm your twin sister. My luck. If someone had asked me, I would have picked a different twin sister. Me too. Or, or, or I'd pick triplets. But none of them would have been you. <gasps> uh, hello? <laughs> well, don't just stand there. We need your help. You certainly aren't talking to me. Are you? We most very certainly are. Certainly for certain. Oh, well, what can I help you with? Can't you see? Sorry, but, um, you're gonna have to tell me. Let's make her guess. Silly, stop fooling around. This is serious. Well, I have a serious, uh, thing too. And, oh, can you tell me how to get to Acorn Acres? <gasps> Grew uh, away? And we're really hungry. <laughs> I'm hungrier. I said it first. <laughs> Doesn't mean you were hungrier first. Girls, please, please explain. How did your picnic grow away? Well, we were looking for a place to have our picnic. And I had some great ideas, but she wouldn't listen. Because my ideas were best. And while you were uh, discussing, the flower grew up where you left your picnic things? And now our picnic is up there! And we're down here! And I'm hungry. I'm hungrier. I am. Come on! We better get your things before they grow away any further. No way! You're gonna help us? Of course! But we need to be quick. That is so nice of you! Almost there. Steady, steady. Now lower. Watch out, Pupcake. <sighs> there. Oh. Hey, that's mine. Nuh uh. I made it. You made it for me? Okay, then what did you make for me? <gasps> Don't spill that. <laughs> Uh, I can't open this. Give it to me, then. With your shaky hands? <laughs> I think not. <sighs> Come on, Pupcake. I guess the only thing we can do is try one of these roads. Where are you going? Yeah, don't you want to join us? It's a picnic for two, but you could share some of hers. Oh, thank you, but I have to deliver a package to Clem Cricket. If only I knew how to get there. Oh, right! It's his birthday! Yup. Too bad he didn't have a party. Maybe he didn't invite us. Why would someone not invite me? How did you know it was his birthday? He's a friend of ours. Yep. Lives right up the road, right up there. This road? Uh, no, that one. That one. That way, to the river. Oh, yeah, you're right. I am? Yep. Just follow it to the river, go across the bridge, over the next hill, and you'll be right there. Oh, thank you. Anytime. Sure thing. Hear that, Pupcake? <gasps> it sounds like a river. Look, Pupcake, the bridge. Come on. On the other side is Acorn Acres. We're almost there. Oh, we're gonna make it in time. Woo! Here, Pupcake, pull it up. That was close. Getting across.
your delivery go on Acorn Acres? I couldn't get there. The road was blocked. The bridge was out. Oh, Strawberry. Listen, I have to go tell the postmaster what happened. Okay. Is there anything I can do to help? I wish there was. I just... don't know what it would be. Hey, your hair looks really nice. Your idea really worked. Thank you. And the avocado oil? My hair's never been so shiny. I love it. <laughs> I'm glad. What a day! <laughs> but everything got delivered. I'm sorry to say not everything. I'm very sorry. I tried. I got as far as the bridge, but it was out. Yeah, I'd heard about it after you'd gone. Too late to stop you, I'm afraid. It's quite a thing you did getting that far. But I didn't deliver the package. The mail didn't get through. Oh, and I promised it would. Actually, you promised to do the very best that you could. And you did that. You see, there are times when things happen that are out of our control. The only thing we can do is the best we can. I'll call the post office in Big Bitty City. See if we can bring in some help. Maybe take the back road through Oak Tree Meadows and get to Acorn Acres that way. Will they get here in time? Well, we can only do our very best. I just wish I could have delivered it. Maybe you still can, Strawberry. What's all this? I, um, sort of spread the word that you needed help. You always help us when we need it. So we decided to help you. Here in Very Bitty City, we always try to help each other get the job done. We all put our heads together and came up with an idea to help you deliver the package. Oh, thank you, everyone. What idea? Cupcake? Cupcake, where are you? <clears throat> huh? Do you need a bridge now? I think this is perfect. Thank you, everybody. Da -da. <laughs> Miss Shortcake. Oh. <laughs> Ready. <laughs> Hang on, Pupcake. <laughs> delivery for Clem Cricket. <laughs> That's me. This is for you. And happy birthday. Oh. <laughs> Uh, are uh, done! Good 
morning, Strawberry. Hi, Apple. Well, what do you have today that's fresh and exciting? Somebody thinks it's time to change the menu at the cafe. Time to fire up the flavor, notch up the nachos, spice up the spice, dial up the delish. Meaning she wants to fix something that isn't broken. Well, as I always say, it's good to find new ways of doing things. Shows you take pride in your work. Barry Kim Bloom has just delivered his crop of chilies. A hybrid I call the hot and not. Crossed half a jalapeno with a sun-sweet sugar plum and a hint of mint. Been growing them for years. I sort of like them, uh, but I don't imagine anyone else will. Mmm, they look beautiful and smell great. As much as I don't like to agree with my sister, she's right. I use them to make my hot and not chili sauce. Oh, what do you think? Mmm, that is the best chili sauce ever. We have to have it at the cafe. That's twice in one day I've agreed with her. I'm starting to get worried. It's wonderful, Barrick and Bloom. What's your secret? <laughs> no secret, really. I follow three simple rules. You can't rush. Everything takes time. Never give up. There's a solution for every problem. And always add a little loving care. Any job worth doing is worth doing well. Got a text message on my phone, but it says it's for you, Barry Can Bloom. It's from... Oh, don't tell me. When it's this time of year, I know who it's from. Tell them I brought here. Left town, out of the country. Not expected back for a year. Or, or ten. Wait, he sent you a video. <laughs> who is this guy? <sighs> My cousin, Bertram. Boom! Where are you, cuz? I tried every number in Berry Bitty City. This time of year, I bury my phone in the bottom of a flower pot. Hey, you didn't bury your phone in the bottom of a flower pot again, did you? Ha, you know it's that time of year. What's he talking about? Uh, the chili sauce contest at the Big Berry County Fair. Hope you're not entering the contest. You know I'll win the golden chili again. <laughs> hey, just because we're cousins, I thought I'd give you a preview. This year, I've cooked my best batch yet. Using my most powerful peppers. Looky, looky! <laughs> Ready for a taste test, my little friend? I'll just give him a drip of a drop to warm up the palate, you see. Don't try this at home, eh? He's a trained professional. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see you top that, cuz. <laughs> oh, sometimes he makes me so angry, I could just... just... <sighs> Do forgive me. Great galloping gooseberries. I've never seen him so upset. Cousin Bertram's been getting the best of me since... Well, as long as I can remember. When I entered the first hot sauce contest, well, oh, he's won the golden chili every year. Oh, that is so, so wrong. Right, exactly. Oh, you don't need a gold medal to prove how good a chili sauce cook you are. Oh, thank you, my dear. But it wouldn't hurt. I mean, fine, sure, a medal isn't everything, but it's something, and that's better than nothing. And it'd be the perfect way to show up that... that... Ugh, cousin of yours! Sour's right. There's no reason you can't beat Bert. Uh, yes, but really, I... I couldn't. It just isn't my... my... my style. Style? When I was faced with making eight dozen rhubarb trifles in one night, did I say, it just isn't my style? When my souffle deflated like a flat tire, did I climb under the covers and pull the sheet over my head? No! I say, enter that contest and beat them! Yeah! <laughs> you can oh, my it. Dear. I know it! <laughs> I thank you, but really, it just isn't what I do. Maybe Barry Can Bloom should do what's comfortable for him. Of 
course he should. And that means he's got to win that contest. This year, the name Barry Can Bloom will mean hot sauce. Yes? Why, yes! This year is my year! To the Chili Patch! And victory! Victory! No! <laughs> Can Bloom, you're going to have the hottest chili sauce that ever was. With this recipe Apple and I have cooked up, you'll flambe that bully birdie once and for all. How are those new chili peppers coming along? Oh, very nearly there, my dears. I call this one the Hoppin' Poppin'. Just a drop of Bloom's very best plant food. Careful now, there, Barry. <laughs> Oh, yes. That's what we want to see. Are we ready for a taste test? Absolutely. Volunteers! Just try a drop, okay? Give it a moment. The Hoppin' Poppin' Chili Pepper has a delayed reaction. doesn't know it yet. Greetings, cuz! I thought you might like to see how things are going here. Behold, my latest creation! <laughs> Let's see you top that! <laughs> there's hot and there's hot and... Hot. You'll just have to make yours even hotter. More peppers, Barry Can Bloom, the hottest you have. Hot sauce? It's rocket fuel. There's no way I could compete with him. How does he do it? Bertram? I don't know. He wins. He always wins. There's no use going on. Wait, wait. Here, take a look at this. What am I supposed to look at? Dad, what is that stuff? Huh? So that's his trick. Ooh, I should have known. That, my dear, is the hottest chili pepper in the very bitty world. The big blue blazer. Wow. Do you have any? Can you grow one? No, unfortunately, no. It's a very rare species. A giant chili that only grows under conditions which cannot be duplicated in a garden. Well, if Bertram got one, they got to grow somewhere. So... Where? No one knows. It's said they need a speckle of sunlight, a dollop of dew, a whisper of wind, and a twist of morning mist. Speckle sunlight, dollop dew, wind whisper, twist mist. The meandering metal 
fits those conditions. Where exactly is this meandering meadow? You cross Dewdrop Dell, up Loganberry Hill, then a half a mile to the meadow. Sounds easy. If we get one of these big blue blazers, can you make it into hot sauce? Well, of course. But there's hardly time, my dear. The contest is only a day and a half away. How long would it take to get there and get back? If there's no bad weather, um, we can have it by noon tomorrow. Plenty of time. What do you say, Apple? Should we go for it? If it's a giant chili, we're going to need some help bringing it back. I'll call Strawberry. <laughs> okay, Bloom. Have everything ready to go the second we bring the blue blazer back. Come on, Apple! Oh, it's lovely of them, but still hopeless. Bertram always finds a way to win. Are you sure this is what he wants? Absolutely. And keep his spirits up while we're gone, okay? How? I don't know. Distract him. Do that happiness thing you do. Let's go, go, go! We need to get to Loganberry Hill by nightfall. <laughs> Are we ready for more? <laughs> Wonderful! But be sure to leave room for dessert. We have a fresh butterberry pie that's simply scrumptious. I understand what you're doing, my dear. And I am very grateful, but... Me? Oh, I'm just trying to feed you. And keep my mind off the contest. It's sweet of you, sweet. And it worked. I haven't thought at all about... Oh, where are you? You know you can't hide from me. Him. Hope you're not wasting time with the contest. <laughs> you don't stand a chance. Take a look at... Thought I'd turn that off. It hardly matters, my dear. <sighs> He's right, of course. I'll never win that contest. But Barrack and Bloom, what is it you always say? Never give up. I do say that, don't I? And I won't give up. There's still time, still hope. If our friends get back by noon tomorrow. According to your map, we ought to be there right about... Ah! There must be something wrong! The map doesn't show this! We can't climb down there. It'd take a week. What are we gonna do? Hmm. Strawberry? I'm thinking about what Barry Kim Bloom says. There's a solution for every problem. This lovely, and no way for Cousin What's-His-Name to intrude. A package for me? Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> There's no hiding from me, cuz! Can you hear it? My new batch of hot sauce simmering on the stove! The sound of victory! <laughs> The big blue blazer. <laughs> oh boy, we're having fun now. Say, wanna go for a walk? No, uh -uh. why not? It's too chilly outside. <laughs> Yeah. 
amazing <laughs> what you can do when <sighs> you really try. But we gotta get going. I know, Strawberry. But give us this moment to feel proud of what we've accomplished. <sighs> we did it. And we did it for Berrykin Bloom. Right. But we gotta get going. After the chili! Oh, no, 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 no! No! Well, now what do we do? <gasps> we better not go out there. We have to find a way to... My, <sighs> what a predicament you have here. But I see you found the last blue blazer of the season. Still, it's not doing my cousin much good out here. Well, you don't need to worry. We'll take care of this. Oh, no. Let me help. I insist. What are you doing? Oh, me. Oh, my. Did I do that? Tisk tisk. What a shame. I've seen some low things in my day, but you are the lowest. You don't play fair, Barry Kim Bertram. No, I play to win. <laughs> <gasps> it's nearly noon. I'm sure they'll be here. It was an ambitious undertaking, my dear. I'd be very surprised if... There they are! You made it! You're back! And the blue blazer? It's in the bottom of a gorge. In little pieces. But, but, what happened? Barry Kim Bertram! He destroyed the blue blazer! We're so sorry, Barry Kim Bloom. There's no cause to be, my dears. You tried your best, and that's all anyone can ask. <laughs> I guess we better pack all this up. Yeah, we'll do it. It's the least we can do. <laughs> what is that delicious aroma? Oh, another batch of hot and not sauce. I made it while I was waiting. Mmm! Isn't that good? We're adding it to the cafe's menu. Have you ever entered this in the contest? Oh, goodness, no. It's not nearly as hot as the sauce Cousin Bertie makes. But it's delicious. <laughs> and what really matters is, it's yours. You know, she's right. Mm -mm, never considered it before. Uh, but uh, why not? We don't have much time, but we can get it there if we hurry. Now, all we can do is wait to hear from the judges. Oh, oh this, this is good. Oh, I Really? Does anybody need yeah. a cup of tea? Oh, yeah, please. Oh, oh. Great. Oh, gracious. <laughs> Have you heard anything about the contest yet? Uh, no, but... Uh... No, my dear, no. I hadn't thought about it, really, uh, until you just mentioned it. <laughs> Put it completely out of my mind. <laughs> hey, any word from the judges? <laughs> Not that I care, mind you. Uh, only curious. I came by to see if you've heard anything. Not yet, but we could get a call any second. It's them! Well, what did they say? How did Barry can... Blue? Where'd he go? He had to leave. Take a message. Oh, what did they say? No, 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 never mind. I don't want to know. I mean, of course I do. And, uh, oh, but I don't. And I do. <laughs> if you see what I mean. Ah! You won! Ah! <laughs> I knew you would. <laughs> I did. Oh, oh, Cousin Bertie won't be happy about that. <laughs> he was disqualified for conduct unbecoming a chili grower. They said Barry Ken Bloom's sauce showed great craftsmanship. A lot of time and effort went into it, and it was obviously made with great loving care. That's more than a sauce. It's you, Barry Ken Bloom. Really, my dear? I find myself speechless. I simply don't know what to say. Well, I do. I say get 
busy. Start making more hot knot sauce. We put it on our Berry Best Bits page catalog, and we're already getting orders. Oh, no. Not again. No, it's from the contest judges. dancing and everyone at the dog show like their dancing people on the berry web are gonna love their dancing you want to post the video on your berry best bits page if it's okay with you plum but the music on this video is kind of hard to hear especially with all the barking that's okay I'll just use some other music instead you can't use just any music it has to match the dancing oh yeah I hadn't thought of that Wait a minute. We happen to have our very own world-famous singer-composer right here in Berry Bitty City. I bet she'd be happy to write us a new song. <sighs> we love our queen. She's never mean. She's super clean. Like a big green bean. <laughs> oh, why is this so hard? Hi, Cherry. Oh, hi, guys. Is everything okay? Sure. Except... No, it's horrible. I've been asked to write a special song to help the Queen of Baravania celebrate her reign. It should be easy, but it's so much pressure. I can't come up with anything. Oh, uh, maybe we shouldn't bother you then. No, no, that's okay. I need a break anyway. Maybe it'll help me clear my head. Well, if you're sure. See, I've got this Dance and Doggies video, and I want to post it to my Berry Best Bits page, only the music's too quiet. So I was thinking that maybe you could compose a new song to go with it. Well, you just need the old song fully produced. I could do that, no prob. How about you guys give me some backup? Yeah! Love to! <laughs>
I just sent it to you on the Berry Web Apple. You can call it Dance Puppy Dance. Ooh, super perfect. I'm gonna post it with the video right now. Thanks, Cherry. Happy to help. Good luck on your song for the queen. Oh, yeah. The queen. <sighs> oh, great queen. You're a ruling machine. You got style and taste. Like a fancy sardine. Oh. Well, there's the problem. I need fuel. I mean, even composers of the most important songs where important people were really, really counting on them had to eat. Oh, Queen, your rules are very best. Oh, my gosh, I'm so, so stressed. Still having trouble, huh? It should be easy. I mean, I write songs all the time. It's just this is for the Queen of Baravania. She's dependent on me. We're talking about actual royalty. It's so much pressure, I can hardly concentrate. Guys, guys! You gotta see this. You aren't gonna believe it. Look, Dance Puppy Dance has gone viral. It's got like a pair zillion hits and rising. <laughs> what is that song? Catchy, right? You're not kidding. It's super danceable. I've got to admit, that beat is awfully irresistible. I could listen to it all day long. What happened to our party? I can't write my next song while I'm listening to my last song. I need some peace and quiet. Oh, yeah. Uh, the song for the queen. Sorry, Cherry. I forgot. We won't make a peep. Cherry! <gasps> Cherry! Cherry! You aren't gonna believe this. Dance Puppy Dance just made it into the Very Bitty City Top Pop songs. <laughs> And quiet. I'm sorry we distracted you, Cherry. That's okay. It's nice and quiet here anyway. You've got to admit, though, it's pretty cool that everyone loves your song so much. I mean, isn't that what music is for anyway? Well, yeah, but right now I need a focus. How am I supposed to think of a new melody with that other one playing in my head all the time? I mean, you might think I've gone bananas, but it's almost like I can hear that song right now. Wait, I can hear it right now. I've created a musical monster. Cherry, wait. And we're on in five, four, three, two. Top of the charts to you, Mavis Maraschino here for another edition of Berry's Hits and Misses. I am out here in Berry Bitty City with a big scoop on the song sensation that's sweeping the Berry Bitty world. Dance, puppy, dance. Uh, sorry, I've got to go and... Play your song on the radio? I, for one, cannot blame you one bit. Ooh, tantalizing timpani. What is the secret behind this mesmerizing musical masterpiece? <laughs> Look, I'm glad you all like the song, but... Like it? Raucous rhythms. Don't be modest, darling. We love it. Why, we can't get enough of it. Yes, I noticed that. Now, if you don't mind, could you please... Ask you another question? Why, of course! Stand up, get on Tell me, floor. Cherry Jam, is this the hip way to move to your groove? If you won't dance lessons, go see Plum Pudding and leave me alone! Diss me discordantly. We're only talking about your song. I don't want to 
talk about that song. I don't want to hear that song. In fact, all I want to do is go far, far away where I'll never hear it ever again. You saw it here first, pop fans. Exclusive coverage of Cherry Jam boldly bashing her own hit tune. Could there be more to this than meets the eye and ear? <laughs> you bet your downbeats, darlings. And I'll bring it to you live. Or oh, my name isn't Mavis Maraschino. <sighs> yes, no boom boxes, no berry web. Nothing but peace and quiet. Oh, Queen of Berryvania, this song is to explain to ya that we've got Queenie Mania. We oh, hi, Berry Kim Bloom. Oh, uh, you guys aren't gonna turn on the radio or anything, are you? Oh, no, my dear. You see, we've got work to do. There's no time for radios when the berries need picking. Oh, that's splendid, because I've got work to do, too. Oh, very well, my dear. You go on about your business, and we'll go on about ours. And hop, hip, hop, hoop, hop. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. Oh, queen, our queen, fair ruler of our patch. From the very biggest berry to the littlest of the batch. Uh, how we praise your, your beauty. Beauty, yeah, that's it. How we praise your beauty and the fairness of your rule. Oh, queen of berry vein, yeah, you... Destroy it! Mavis Maraschino here with a startling development. Earlier this afternoon, I paid visit to Dance Puppy Dance's composer, Cherry Jam, when Cherry Cherry, quite contrary, painted quite the perplexing picture. I don't want to talk about that song. I don't want to hear that song. In fact, all I want to do is go far, far away where I'll never hear it ever again. Why would the pop princess poo-poo publicity at the peak of her popularity? Has she cracked under the pressure of her? Oh. Hey, what's up, Maeve? Captivating crescendo. Who in the name of pop culture are you? I'm Kumquat Cool Dude from Berry Big City. Kumquat Cool Dude? Oh, I'm from Berry Big City, and I've certainly never heard of you. That's because I'm so far out on the cutting edge of style and taste that only the coolest of the people been allowed into my cool circle of coolosity. You sure you never heard of me? Oh, now I remember you, of course. Uh, Mr. Cool Dude and I go way back, <laughs> way, way back. So, uh, tell me, Kumquat, from one trendy pop culture expert to another, what do you think of this whole dance, puppy dance craze? The Cool Dude is here to tell you, dance, puppy dance is super lame. <gasps> As anybody who's truly cool will tell you, it's, uh, well, it's musically horrible. And Cool Dude says, anyone who doesn't want to look like a total banana brain should just stop listening to it. How could that guy bash Cherry's song like that? So, if you want to be cool and, you know, sophisticated like me and Mavis, then by all means, turn off that song and never play it again! <clears throat> Yo, Big Mavis, am I right? Or am I right? Ah, uh, what? <laughs> However did that horrid song become my ringtone? <laughs> of course you're right. 
There you go, folks. You heard it from Mavis herself. That song is crummy. So stop listening to it. Stop singing it and playing it in public. Stop dancing and stop whistling. What this town needs is some peace and quiet so I can write the queen her song. Wait, what? Did I say the queen song? Uh, what I meant was... Oh, hey, and harmony. Cherry jam. But why would Cherry do that? I have no idea why you would pull such a charade, Cherry Jam, but I assure you that we will not stop playing your hip masterpiece. Fine, then. Enjoy the song, because it's the last song from me you'll ever hear. I'm never going to write music again. What? <gasps> what? I can't believe the cherry is giving up music. If only we had kept it quiet. You're right, Orange. But it's just so catchy. It is a catchy song. And sure, we'd love to play it 24-7. And yes, we could all dance and whistle and hum along, and we'd never, ever get sick of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But friendship comes before music. And if my friend needs me to stop listening to her super catchy song so she can compose a brand new super catchy song for the Queen of Baravania, well, I'm willing to do it. How about you, Berry Bitty City? Are you with me? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Puppy dance? No more dance, puppy dance! Do we promise? We, we promise. promise! All right then, from this moment forward, dance, puppy dance is banned from Berry Bitty City. May we never hear that wonderful tune again! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> playing anywhere. Perfect. It's time to talk to Cherry. Once she sees how everyone pitched in to keep things quiet for her, she's bound to start writing music again. Hi, Barricade Bloom! Hmm, that's weird. Barricade Bloom, is everything all right? <gasps> Oh, uh, hello, ladies. <laughs> it really is a lovely day, uh, so if you don't mind, I'll be on my way. Barricade Bloom. <laughs> well, uh, imagine that. <laughs> However did the, uh, that thing get in there? No, no, no! <laughs> you gotta get that berry! Better. Nothing like a little nap to change your whole outlook. Maybe I'll finish writing the Queen's song after all. Oh, Queen, the land is so serene. Uh-huh. No. No! Anything but that song! Oh, you did it all right. How could you bring that song out here when you knew I didn't want to hear it? We're sorry, Cherry. Honest. Uh, we tried to keep it quiet. Oh, we really 
did. Can't you turn that thing off? <laughs> How do you turn it off? Don't be boom box. Don't any of these switches work? I mean, seriously, who made this thing? The queen? What an honor to receive you at my humble tour bus. To whatever do I owe this uh, honor? Why, I've come to observe your progress on my royal song. Oh, uh, well, you see, the thing is that... The thing is, young lady, it's quite obvious that you finished it. I... I have. And I love it! Oh, well, actually, Your Majesty, I was working on another song. I mean, this one is for dancing. With a groovy melody like this, what difference does it make? <laughs> Everyone, please, let's put formality aside. Come join me as we get our bad sales down to the official royal song. <laughs> <laughs> Admit, Cherry, this is one catchy tune. I guess. Sorry if I was kind of a grouch. You're right. I should be happy if people like my music. But seriously, you've got to let me have a break from it some of the time. Of course. And we're sorry we weren't respecting your space. After all, the Queen loves this song so much, you'll need to concentrate when she asks you to write another. You really know how to cheer a girl up. <laughs> how about a dance? Why, I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, 